boom, boom. We are back with another video. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. We're going to, the early upload, we're going to go over GameStop, major levels to watch to know if it's going to boom, not boom, what we really got to be pay attention to. We'll also go over AMC. AMC showing a lot of resistance right now, so I'm really not interested in playing AMC, but the levels are working literally perfect though we'll go over nvidia nvidia is still pushing up we'll also go over tesla uh the tesla had a big down i think tesla's going to be setting up for some nice big plays i'll let y'all know what i'm looking out for we'll also go over apple we'll go over gold the bitcoin sector oil sp500 and we'll keep it just at the big sectors for now making this video before i uh take this flight out so this video can hold you over okay so boom let's get straight into it smash the like button subscribe if you are new uh and run it up so Oh, I also want to go over SoFi real quick. Remember what I told y'all? SoFi had to break this resistance level. It never did it. And that's what, well, guess what we got? Boom. Big crash down. It also broke support area. I told y'all I want SoFi around the $6 and we was looking for downside. I wanted put option swings on it. I didn't play it, but it's going down in that direction that we want, right? So that's what I want from SoFi right now. It does have a concurrent support around six. 50 so you can watch that but i'm still looking for a little more downside on sofi stock than i feel like it might set up okay let's go ahead and go over amc um amc like i said i'm not really looking to play amc but i am giving levels right amc is not really having push like gamestop is the hype really isn't on amc right now it's on gamestop but amc is moving as like sympathies okay so uh amc has just since 535 you can see how it tried to go above that here Ooh, and came right back down right so amc is still showing resistance at that resistance area as it's been doing for about four days in a row you see how many times let me take this off you see how many times it tapped in here boom 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 it never wanted to break that so that's showing me that i don't want to get an amc right now it also has support around four dollars 85 cents if that breaks it's probably going to be going down more again none of this financial advice all education purpose only don't trade things here in this video just some guy on youtube i'm giving my analysts my predictions and so forth so that's amc pretty simple uh gamestop also I actually did get gamestop shares today but then i sold it right here for a negative seven percent that's the second time i lost on gamestop out of nine plays so i think i'm up like 60 percent something like that on gamestop then i think i lost maybe four percent the other one's seven now so i probably sell about 50 percent on gamestop plays we played it about nine times lost twice which is okay and then i also played meta calls today for about a 60 percent gain it banged right whole team one off that that's why i say just make sure you join the team you get everything i buy and sell whenever you join you get access to the discord elite is only six dollars a month but the value is crazy that is so low for somebody that wins every week lifetime memberships 59.9 one-time fee also comes with personal training uh elite year 690 after pay is available for elite year and lifetime if you want to pay monthly then personal training you can finally pay monthly now using after pay 899 or you can just pay at one time join there then the free long term building 500 dollars adding 500 dollars every month all long plays nothing less than a year very long-term mind thinking on those okay but gamestop has resistance at 3135 and it has support at 2525 now gamestop i believe needs to break one of those levels okay it needs to either break the support or break the resistance when do i want to get in gamestop again and play it again is when it breaks that 3135 because that's going to show signs that it actually wants to push now i don't see a clear play just yet on gamestop like i saw this day right that was the last time we played it i believe the gain was if i go back let me just see excuse all the plays we've been playing uh pretty much a lot of stuff where's game right here oh so the last time we played it we got about 25 percent, 20 percent. that's the last time we played the shares you can see june 11 and we were taking profits in like the 29s and so forth at the highs right so that was the last time we played gamestop was here right you see the high was about 30 and we were taking profits around 29 so that was the last time i saw a clear play right i don't see a clear play just yet right now it's just kind of seeing what's going to happen after rory and kitty sold his options now he has nine million shares we're going to see if they're able to cover the shares we're going to see right but i don't feel like we're going to start getting pushed until we start breaking 30 31 dollars 35 that's when i'll probably play it in this area to see if we get continued push i don't see a clear exit just yet i'm assuming we might go to 38 if we get that push or not but those are the major two levels that i'm watching and once they break, I'll kind of know where GameStop wants to push a little bit further, okay? Palantir still stalled, kind of. It did break that support level. So let's put another support, like around 22.95. We could put it in that small type of range. So 22.95. We'll watch that. Nothing crazy going on Palantir just yet. Let's go ahead and go over to Tesla stock. Tesla stock is pulling down, which was assumed, right? We have resistance at 191.35. It literally hit that perfect here. I am looking to load the boat up on tesla meaning share swing calls and leap calls if you don't know what leap calls are make sure you join the team remember unlock the blueprint to your dream lifestyle is all when you join the first thing in that description we got everything available for you so you should find something that works for you 
but resistance 191.35 and support tesla actually has two supports it has one at 171 okay but then it has another one at about 172.50 so they're kind of close together but i kind of just wanted to add it in here uh what i say yeah 170 we'll put it 172.55 172.50 in that area so there's two supports as long as we don't break these supports I feel like Tesla should break 200 and have a decent run. It did have a big pop and it's pulling down now. So that's setting up for some decent plays. I'm looking to get shares, call options and everything in here. I just want to be certain that on, we're having two big pull downs right now, right? We have no green days yet. So we might as well just be patient. The play might not form till next week. Shares, call options and leaps all to run past 200 and we'll get some nice gains on Tesla. I'm just waiting for that run to accumulate. But if we break here, then that means we'll just have to wait a little bit longer for that movement, okay? So that's why I'm kind of looking out for Tesla. He got his package, everything's secured now. Now we're just kind of looking for that next run as Tesla has kind of been stalled out ever since like the beginning of May, okay? So like a month and a half, it really hasn't done much. NVIDIA stock pushing up nicely. I'm waiting to buy some heavy shares. As y'all know, I won't pull down. We do have support around 122.35. That's pretty much it for NVIDIA, right? It is at all-time highs. It's steadily pushing, which is good, right? We won't push, but I'm just waiting to load up on the boat, and I won't chase price. That's why we like to build consistent profits, scalping, and so forth, so we don't feel like we're missing NVIDIA buying at high prices, and then when the pull down, now you're down instead of just being patient, waiting. Don't free trade. Don't be retail. Become a monster, okay? But that's NVIDIA. Pretty simple. AMD stalled, pulling down. Intel, I'm also looking for a big play. I'm kind of just waiting. Adobe boom through uh, earnings. Strangle worked perfectly. That was a banger play. I do play earnings as well on Pacific things with our new strategy. You see that when you join the team also. Apple stock, um, still up high. Very stalled. I am looking for pull down again. We have two supports, 210.15, 201.05. Kind of watching supports in that area to see what, but nothing crazy going on with Apple right now. It's kind of just been in the same range for about two days. And I don't want to buy it at high prices. So, I'm just being patient on that as well. Um, boom. Oh, SMCI uh, hit resistance. Doesn't want to break that. It literally tested it again today. Resistance is about 868.50. And you can see how it tested that resistance. Look at this. Beautiful hit. Boop. Right back down. That's why the major levels are very critical. Smash the like button, share the videos, all that good stuff. And it hit resistance level perfect. So not ready to buy SNCI just yet. I need that resistance level to break. DJT just dropping, dropping, dropping. Like I told y'all, if it didn't break here, I didn't want to play it because there's no play. You're just playing price movement of free trading. Be careful of that. And it literally been dropping ever since then, right? So new support, I'll say about, we'll put about $34. Nice even number. $34, new support, kind of watch that. Um, we will test that, see if we break it. If we break it, I'm not looking to play it. I think it'll be a little better, maybe closer to elections. Uh, this stock might do a little bit better. FFIV is in the gutter. I'm only watching the resistance level 65 cents. If it don't break that, it's probably not going to do much. Just letting y'all know now, right? Um, also, um, all the cannabis sectors, they're dropping. The, there's nothing to do on the cannabis sector right now. They're all dropping, so I'm just staying away from those. Let's go ahead and go over to gold, G-O-L-D. Um, still dropping, nothing crazy going on with gold. I want to see what happens at the support level. That's when we're going to know if gold is really going to have that secondary big crash like it did here. I want to see if it's going to continue down, but we'll know that if we break that 1565. So that's a big level on gold that I'm kind of watching as we go down to that level. Also, oil still going down. Um, pretty much did everything I was expecting on the downside. And I'm just kind of just, just the same thing with gold. I want to see if it's breaking that support level 5755. So in here, not too much to do. We want to see what the bigger moves, like the bigger swings. And we won't know that till we see what happens at the support area right here. Okay. Also, in the stocks you guys want me to go over, I'll try to make a video maybe Sunday. If not, then just back on Monday. But uh, that's uh, oil. Let's go ahead and go over to. Oh, also, Netflix is booming, broke all my targets. Um, I think Netflix is going to be making all-time highs, which is above like 700. So that's a potential swing play as well. But since we're now we're getting that rocket, what I want to do on Netflix is I want some type of pull down. Every time it runs, it pulls down, run, pull down, run, pull down. So I'm looking for that pull down, load the boat up here for that secondary run. I want to put that in there real quick. Also, Bitcoin stalled at the support level, 66,600. Hasn't broken it yet. So once it breaks it, I'll update y'all. But same two levels, resistance 72100. I don't believe Bitcoin is going to break until it breaks that resistance level. So just watch that. But it is testing that support level a little too much. If you go down to the hourly chart, look how many times it tested the support level in the past like month. Okay. It hasn't broken it, but it is getting weaker. Okay. And it seems like it wants to break it as I'm making a video right now. So once that breaks, um, I'll update y'all. I do feel we do have a, I'll just put a new uh, support level on here right now. About 65,700. Just in case it breaks and I don't make, um, uh, 
a video till like Monday or so. We'll see if I run the likes up. Maybe I'll make one when I'm out of town. Um, hmm. What did I say? 65, 700. Seven. Oh. Yeah, if y'all get this video over 100 likes within four hours, I'll make another video Sunday, even if I'm out of town, okay? For updates, depending on what the market does. 65, 700, that's your two support levels. If we break that, Bitcoin's going to low 60s. Just know that. And if that happens, Coinbase is going to drop, the miners are going to drop, MSCR is going to drop, Hood's going to drop, right? Same levels for all these. I am looking to play them, but I'm just waiting because Bitcoin's really not pushing right now. Look, MSCR hit the support level again, not really doing much. Hood stock pulling back down after the decent run. If hood stock gets back below $22, I'm going to be getting hood stock. Again, now this is financial advice. All education purpose only. Don't trade things here in this video. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, the miners, the best miner that looks to me right now is HUT. I'm waiting to buy it. I'm just waiting for my entry on HUT. Okay. It hasn't broke $12 either. So I am kind of being just patiently waiting. I think HUT would do um, pretty good in the mining sector. Also, I'm waiting on a lot of stuff like Dell. I'm waiting on pull down, Baba, Boeing, Nike, AT&T, all these big plays I'm waiting on as well. Also, start watching the bonds. TLT is booming right now. We're about to play bonds. So just kind of watch out for these. Thank you guys for watching the video. Also, follow me on Twitter at WillKnowledge77. I try to post as much as possible with levels and stuff, BTC, GameStop, Tesla, all that good stuff. Just make sure you follow me, run it up. Join the team, first in that description. And always remember, no target based on the bar. So anything, just for educational purposes only. Do not trade anything you see here in the video. Catch you guys in that next one. Bye.